guys, when you're doing a problem like this, is we want to identify, um, we don't know where the center is, we don't know where the focus is, right? We don't have that value of P, yes? But there is one thing we do know. We do know that this directrix is going to be vertical, right? So when we have a directrix that's vertical and this parabola opens up to the right, first of all, there's a couple things I know. If the parabola opens up to the right, which variable should be squared, the x or the y? The y. So therefore, I know my equation um, that I have is going to be y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h, right? This is on 579. This is 4054. So it's going back to parabolas. OK? So teaching this for a couple days, I already have the formula memorized. So therefore, I would expect you guys, by doing your homework, could probably be close to getting that memorized as well. It's the same form. I mean, it's pretty similar. Um, then the other thing I know is p. I don't know the value of p, but I know p is positive, right? Do you guys agree with me? If it's opening up to the right, we know that the d distance to our focus is going to be positive. Does that make sense? So that's just a good thing. I'm going to write that down because when I'm doing my problem, um, I'm going to, uh, I want to make sure I check my answer, make sure my answer makes sense. All right, the other thing, they give us the center, which I didn't write down, which is 1 comma negative 3. So the main important thing is we need to identify what information we're given. So our center is h and k. However, this is just a random point, right? So it doesn't represent p, doesn't represent h and k. What else could a random point represent? x and y. So that's what we're going to plug into x and y. So now I can plug in 0 minus eight or k. So that would be a negative 1 equals 4p. Let's do that in black. 4p times x, which is 5.5, minus um, h, which is 1. Yes? Yes? It's y minus k. Y. Yes, I switched those around. Thank you. So it's y. Oh, I just didn't write it in there. It's y minus 3. Yes. It's just 3. Not negative 3. Well, if it's over 1, down 3. Right? So it should be, so that h should be negative 3. Huh? Right. Well, in the end, yes, that's what I was showing you. I'm just showing my work. So it's h minus k. h minus k. Agreed? So yeah, you're right. A double negative gives you what? Just positive 3. Everybody gets confused on this, so that's why I just kind of broke it down in an extra step. What? What's your question? No, no, I get it. It's just it's, and that down there is negative 3. I know. Okay. Um, I'm not like I'm. Okay. 4p, and then this becomes um, 4.5. 4. 9 equals 4 times 4.5. That's going to be 16, 18. Right? If I did my math correct. All right. Then we just divide by 18. 1 half equals p. Is that positive? Is P positive? Yes, yeah, so I can be relatively sure that I did at least something right. All right, now, um, so now I know what P is, so I can write the rest of the equation. So when we're writing the equation, all we need to know is P, and we just need to know H and K. So it's Y plus 3 squared equals 4 times 1 half, which is 2 times X minus 1. And that's your final answer. Okay. Questions? Preguntas? Yes? So how did you get the 2 for the equals 2 at 
Anybody else have any other questions?